So another spiritual gift that you will receive, not only on semen retention, but just by being aware and raising your level of consciousness, um, you're able to control your timeline. You see, your timeline is different from everybody else's. You have your own experience, your own perspective on life. And this life is like an MMO. You got NPCs or people that are a part of the program and then you have other players that are actually online doing missions just like you are okay we all connect online or the internet which is no different than the collective consciousness you see so your choices affect your reality and how the world changes around you and how it affects the relationships you have with people you are the main character in your life. Okay, and I'm not saying that to say that you're you're special, you're better than anyone. I'm just saying that you control your experience. Right? Everybody has their own experience based off of how they're vibrating. So, you have a million different options of what you can experience today. You're watching this video right now. That was a choice that you made that's affecting your timeline. You could be doing a million other things right now besides watching this video. And if you chose to do something else right now, it will lead you down a different path. The small choices that we make affect our timeline. Just like that movie, uh, Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kutcher, when he kept trying to change his reality, making different choices, and every choice that he made, every change that he made affected somebody in a big way. It might be a small little detail, and then he'll go 20 years in the future, and then it's just like catastrophic. That one little change created a whole new timeline right the reason why it's called a butterfly effect is because the flutter of a butterfly's wings the little energy the gust that it creates that energy adds up to the collective and it creates a tsunami on the other side of the world it has the power to do that it has the power to create a hurricane just that one small little flutter from the butterfly can add up to create something catastrophic you see so this is another spiritual gift that you'll notice that you have is you start to be aware that you can choose what you want to experience today you can jump in and out of realities side by side are, are different timelines which is different outcomes to your story you see the reason why i say you're the main character is because your choices affect the NPCs. Your choices affects the world and how the story progresses. If I'm playing a game, I'm the main character. And if I choose not to progress the story, the world stays the same. It doesn't change. Notice in the video game, everything's always trying to attack you. They don't attack the NPCs. You know, if you play GTA and let's say you get into a fight with a civilian, if a police officer sees you, he gonna jump in and help the civilian. And they both jump at you. You know what I'm saying? The reason why you don't get any help is because they know that you are the awakened one, the chosen one. The program is trying to attack you. Everybody's a part of the program. As soon as you play the game, start the game, all the obstacles come your way. All the bosses, all the enemies attack you. I was playing a game, Far Cry, and you can uh, save like caged animals. And if you save the caged animal, like if you open this cage, it'll attack the enemies. But I opened up this cage and the, the, the animal started attacking me along with the enemies. And I'm like, Man, I just saved your life and you're gonna attack me? You gonna run right past them and attack me, huh? So that right there tells you that the program is always going to come at you first because you are the awakened one. So you have to be aware that you choose your timeline. This is what the new earth and the, and the new dimensions, the fifth, sixth, seventh dimensions are all about. Is that you have to be aware that every single choice that you make throughout your day is putting you into new timelines, new versions of yourself. You're always jumping and, and quantum shifting. Always, every single day. You have major, major world shifts, world events, then you have your own personal shifts that you make every single day. You see? So the reason why I like retention helps you 
be able to shift more frequently is because your energy is vibrating at a higher level. All right, it awakens every piece of yourself, all your seven chakras, your crown chakra, and now you become connected. It's just like Deadpool, how he's able to break the fourth wall. You start breaking the fourth wall and you realize that you're just an avatar, but this is not really you, okay? This is just one experience. When you put on a VR headset, right? It's you controlling the VR, but in the VR, you're a whole different character and a whole different reality. That's the same thing that we're in right now. This is not truly who you are. This is just the VR. This is the avatar that you have in the VR, but your true self is somewhere else controlling or playing the game. And they showed you this in Black Mirror. They showed you this in uh, Ready Player One, how you can transfer your consciousness to a whole new reality. Okay? So once you start to wake up to this, life becomes a lot easier, it becomes fun. See, what makes us so stressed out and have so much anxiety and fear is that we think this is real. We attach ourselves to this human experience to the point we forget that we are bigger than this. We are multidimensional beings. You have the power to shift. If you feel like you're not abundant right now, you can change that. If you feel like you're not healthy or you're not living the life that you want, you can change that. You just got to make your mind up to do it yourself. Yeah, man, this is all one big simulation. And it's really just training for our soul so that we can rise up to a higher level. It's like a, almost like a, a, a hyperbolic chamber. Like they train in, in Dragon Ball Z where time moves slower here than it does in real life. They go into the hyperbolic chamber and in the chamber, they've been training for a year, but really it's only been one day in the real world. That's sort of like what we're in right now. This is training. So this is why it's so intense and it feels so stressful at times because that stress is raising our power level. But when we pass over, when we go back to the real world, it's only been a day, but we come back twice as strong, right? We've been doing years and years of training and it's gonna reflect when we go back to the real world. So when you start to notice little things like this, it's gonna make your life a lot easier and you won't stress out so much. Don't take this life so serious. Take yourself serious. But at the same time, when you got bills and the stress is piling up, problems piling up, man, learn to laugh at it. That's just the game trying to, trying to challenge you, trying to test you to see if you're gonna break. Okay? You can always ask for guidance and protection if things get too tough. Because remember, the Most High will never give you more than what you can handle. So if you feel like you can't handle it, you can always change the difficulty level. Bump it down for a little bit until you, you know, you level up or you get strong enough to handle that difficulty, then bump it back up. If you just tell them like, hey, you know, right now it's too much. I need y'all to pull back on some of these tests, right? The Most High, they will help you out. Your, your spirit guides, they'll help you out and they'll give you some cheat codes. They'll give you some, some care packages right to get you through your situation you got to tap into yourself when you tap into yourself and meditate that's like you pausing the game you go into the main menu you get to take a break um you get to unplug from the program for a, a brief time reconnect re-strategize you got to meditate every single day and 2024 you got to meditate every single day you can't take no days off you can't, it's gonna eat you alive. Okay, if I go a week without meditating, my life is chaos and not in a good way. I start losing myself, I start getting undisciplined, I start making decisions, you know, bad decisions and I start becoming destructive, going back to my old habits. When you meditate, what I've noticed when I meditate every single day, just even five, 10 minutes, I make great decisions. I'm, I'm more focused. Um, I'm quick with it with my thinking, my thoughts. I'm way more disciplined, you know? So you need to be more aware of yourself and what you attach yourself to as far as your thoughts, right? Because thoughts are nothing like apps. 
or ads or pop-ups running through your mind. We are like computers. This vessel is like a computer. This vessel that we have is like a computer, like a phone. So just like your phone, you might be scrolling on a website and you see ads or pop-ups come up and you can choose to click on them. You know it's just a distraction and it's gonna take you away from your, your main goal or what you're trying to figure out, what you're searching for. Just like your thoughts, some thoughts that's running through your mind, you have no reason to give them focus or your attention. They're just, they're just pop-ups. They're just ads. You don't have to click on it. You can just scroll past it. Okay? Sometimes if you get a negative thought, just scroll past it. Don't give it your time and attention, man. You know, it's going to take you through all these different pages and loops. It's going to be asking you for money and your credit card information and stuff that you don't really need. Just scroll past it. Right? This whole life is like a one big computer program. That's why you see the technology, the internet, our phones, our computers, it's all modeled and based off of real life, which is one big simulation, okay? As above, as so below. Everything in this reality is just a micro version of what's really happening in the, in the higher realms or higher dimensions, you see? So understand that you have the power. You have the power. Just remember that you are the main character in your life. It doesn't matter what anybody else is going through. Your choices affect your experience. You can have two people standing next to each other and they could be having two different experiences based off of where their mindset is and the choices that they're making. Like I said, it's no different than playing like an online game. You might see other people that's, that's really playing the game, that's real players, but y'all are having two different experiences and you can choose to join up or go co-op and experience uh, have an experience together but aside from that you still have your own story that you have to progress all right so tap into your spiritual gifts man you got to start realizing these things because um if you don't somebody's going to take advantage of it somebody's going to put thoughts into your head so that you can manifest what they want you need to manifest what you want so put the right thoughts into your head that's going to help you see through your goals and see through your mission in life. Get on your purpose. Have a benevolent reality. Put that in your mind. Have an imagination. Put the emotional power behind that imagination or what you want to experience. It's going to become real. Okay, it's going to solidify into something real. These timelines that we experience is nothing but our thoughts put into action. Us bringing our thoughts into reality. That's all it is. Remember, everything starts in the mind. Everything is spiritual. This physical reality is just the manifestation of the spiritual realm. Okay, so it starts with you. It starts with your mind. It starts with the power of your imagination. So if you guys need help, you need more guidance, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations and I also have a Retain Gang community that I created for things like this, where you need to connect with like-minded people that can help you stay on point, keep you accountable, all right? We do weekly calls and discussions and our, our conversations are very high vibrational. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in my description and in my pinned comments, but go ahead and claim your membership now, man, because I got something very special that I'm cooking up for you. And you don't want to miss out on it, right? It's a great investment for you. So peace, love, and abundance. And I'm out.